In the name of Jesus, Amen. Amen. I thirst. It is perhaps the most human of all of Jesus' words from the cross. Here in this text, we get the picture of a man who has suffered, a man who has gone through hell, a man who now is left with nothing. Of course, I thirst. Water is something that we hear about all the time in the Bible. How many stories are there in the Bible about water and thirst? One in particular comes to mind this night, though. In John chapter 4, we hear Jesus going and speaking to the Samaritan woman at the well. He goes to the well and asks her, give me some water to drink. She's surprised by this and says, how is it that you, a Jew, can ask me, a Samaritan woman, for water and ask for drink? Jesus replied, if you knew the gift of God and who it is that is saying to you, give me drink, you would have asked him and he would have given you living water. Again, he said, everyone who drinks of this water will be thirsty again, but whoever drinks of the water that I will give him will never be thirsty again. The water that I give him will become in him a spring of water welling up to eternal life. Well, that sounds pretty good. A water, a drink that leads to eternal life. There's an awful lot of mythology that grew out of that. The whole fountain of youth really comes from that image, that picture of a water of life that leads to eternity. But it's not that kind of youth. This is no swashbuckling story. This same one who promised living water so that you would never be thirsty again, hung on a cross, naked, derelict, dying. And with almost the last breath, he says, I thirst. So the one who is the living water, the rock who was Christ, that one now
until we receive the fullness of Jesus and who he is. Our hearts still wander. Our desires still come <coughs> and go. Our thirst is never quite quenched along the way. And so we learn again and again that our thirst can never be satisfied in this life. It is only through the living waters of Jesus Christ that your life can be fulfilled. So behold the man who thirsts. Behold the man whose blood still flows for you. Behold the man who is dried up, who thirsted, not for those sinful things that you and I want, but who thirsts above all for your life and salvation. But that is what God desires above all, is that you would drink of that water of everlasting life with him again and again and again through all 